Hi again, I'm back. So this is part two of the um, pocket card that I'm making. So um, I'm now making the tag um, for the pocket card. And so um, I have the tag piece cut out. And then you're going to need a one inch circle. And this is just one of those Martha Stewart one inch circle punches. And I kind of like these colors here, so I'm going to punch this out. And then you're going to fold that in half. And then add some adhesive. This side. And just sort of line that up in the middle there. And adhere it down. And to add a little bit of dimension, I'm just going to go ahead and use this Regal Rose Classic ink and edge the tag a little bit here. Okay, and while I have my ink open, I'm going to go ahead and stamp on the sentiment. And I am using the Congrats Stamp Set by Stampin' Up. Um, so this part's actually going to go on congratulations, and then it says on the birth of your beautiful baby. So I'm going to go ahead and just eyeball this for now, and I'm just going to stamp it at the bottom of the tag here. So um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my big bite and you're going to use the large hole punch and you're going to stamp a hole, or I'm sorry, punch a hole onto the tag. Okay, And then you're going to go ahead and put a large eyelet in there and set it with your big bite. like that. Okay, and then while I'm at it, I'll just go ahead and put the ribbon on. This is a really pretty ribbon. I got this ribbon at Michael's, um, the 99 cent rolls that they have um, in the scrapbooking section. I just thought it was really cute. Um, I've used this on baby cards before. I'm just going to trim off this lucky edge here. Okay. So here we go. So there's your, there's your tag. And you can like write something over here or you can, um, you know, net a little white piece here and, and write more in there if you'd like. Of goes in the pocket like that and then let's just go ahead and build out the new card um, in part one of my video I had distressed the pink copy here and um, the pink cardstock with some crackle paint some ranger distress crackle paint so it's all dry and it has quite a bit of texture and has that aged look it's really beautiful so I'm just going to go ahead and take that piece and I'm going to go ahead and adhere it down To the chocolate chip cardstock. Oops, sorry about that. Oops. Okay. And then I am going to take this piece and adhere it down to the top. And I like to give at least a quarter inch from top and sides where I decide to put it down. And that's just based on how I, the measurements I cut the paper at. Okay. And then this piece is actually going to come down here. I'll go ahead and adhere this piece first because I need to stamp the sentiment before I, I um, 
adhere the ribbon onto the card. Okay. Okay, that's done. So now I'm going to take my stamp on the jig. I'm just going to kind of move stuff out of the way here. Um, to get my sentiment down. Oops. Okay. Oops, it moved just a little bit, but oh, I got the uh, the piece that I really want uh, to get it straight. It's kind of funny how when I use my stamp image jig, um, I love it, but <laughs> I can't seem to get it to stay still. Sometimes I move it a little bit and it just doesn't seem to work for me sometimes. So once that's stamped, we want to go ahead and adhere the ribbon. And the reason I don't adhere the ribbon first is because the um, ribbon gets in the way of the um, the stamp um, uh acetate, and it doesn't seem to want to stay well. So, and I'm just going to center the ribbon sort of in the middle between the sentiment and between the sentiment and the, um, the designer paper. Okay, there's just like a little piece hanging off here, so. And I'm changing my card up a little bit. Um, here's the original. You can see that. I'm just changing it up a little bit here. On the original, I actually used um, these squigglies from the designer paper, which I thought was pretty cool. But with this one, um, I'm using some pretty cool ribbon that I found from my little stash, which I thought was really pretty. I went with the card, kind of made things stand out a little bit here. Okay. So there's that. Okay. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to get some sticky strip. And just sort of apply that across here. Sorry, just go ahead and adhere that down. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my glue dots. And my These are rhinestones, which are beautiful. I love these. Okay, and I'm just going to add another one up here, one here, one here. Okay. And there you go. Really cute card. Really easy to make um, and has a little bit of character on it with the distressed look. And here's the original one again. Thanks for joining me. Bye.